Hi, my name is Zephyr Bieberbrock, and we're going to try and work out the focal length of this magnifier. Okay, I'm going to move the magnifier up and up and up and up. And try and get it angled just about right. And let me see. There we go. No. Just trying to get it to the point where it burns the paper, which I think is about that far. So measuring that, the focal length has to be, gosh, six or seven inches. So. I almost burnt the paper at one point, but then the sun went in. Yeah, so about seven inches. Now I have determined the focal length of this magnifier is about seven inches. That's um, in metric, seven inches would be uh, around about uh, 14, 17, and 17, 18 centimeters. So, um, eh, about 180 millimeters. So now I've determined the focal length. I now know how long I need to cut the pieces for the uh, for the solar tracker. Of course, I'm making the solar tracker for just this one lens. I'm not making it for it to fit anything else, I'm just making it for this one lens. And if I cut the length long bit to, shall we say, nine inches, then that should be good enough for the rest of the tracker to work perfectly. Uh, of course, I'll have to make the the burn point movable, but that's another thing altogether. I'm just going to cut the metal today and put the pivot on and uh, go from there. Here's where the solar tracker is at now. I have cut those two pieces of aluminium and I have all but completed it there. I made the hinge section. It's actually a hinge but I had to add a little bit of angle bracket to it to give me something to key into when I drill for the mounting for the aluminium channel. I uh, couldn't find quite a lot of tools so um, that was a little disappointing. I love to hunt for them. But if we take that apart, because it's only just balanced together, you see I've got the aluminium cut, aluminium angle cut, so it can swivel around 90 degrees, which is pretty much all I need. And then, of course, the thing will swivel like that. There will be two axes of movement, the vertical and the horizontal. And... Um, it's going to work from there. As I said, I was a little bit disappointed. I couldn't find half my tools and came across a whole lot of problems. I can see exactly why people use Lego. I worked jolly hard today and the uh, solar tracker mechanics. I can say that I found the results of all that work rather disappointing, but then I wasn't doing it or doing it the easy way. I'm doing it the hard way. Um, the, the easy way that a lot of people do is they use 
Metal Meccano Erector Sets, something like that, or Lego Technic. And I didn't start out thinking about Lego Technic or Meccano. I started thinking about cutting aluminium, doing, doing the real work. And although it, I can, it's taking a lot longer than I would like. I can see why some people use 3D printers. If they've got a design that works, it makes a difference. I don't have a 3D printer. And to be quite frank, I'm rather wary of spending a couple of hundred dollars on a 3D printer and then finding I can't get the the plans to design the stuff that I need or I can't design the stuff that there's a lot bit of learning involved or oh, in fact there's, I'm saying I'm afraid there's gonna be a lot of learning involved that will take me a lot longer than just hacking something out of metal as I said I'm disappointed with the speed of progress but half the problem my problem I don't have a workshop I'm doing everything pretty much outside um, I've got a, a little a tiny little workbench outside that, um, but it doesn't help me find my tools because I've got no way really to store things. So everything is just piled higgledy piggledy, one thing on top of another. And eventually, thing sometimes I can find things, sometimes not. Sometimes I find them days later, sometimes weeks later. Um, it has been an instance where I've never been able to find something i've bought another piece another uh, another item just like it then i've lost that then i've bought another one and i've lost that and then suddenly i find all all four or five of them all in one place and for example i've got two harbor freight tubing benders because i was pretty sure the the previous one had totally gone missing uh, i'm missing I'm missing a chainsaw at the moment. Uh, heaven knows where that was, but good luck to somebody if they pinched it. Absolutely good luck, because the uh, the <laughs> the um, the thing did not oil itself, and uh, that was a that was an irritation. So I had to manually oil it, and of course the blade is now as probably slightly blunter than the average pancake um so if somebody pinches that and tries to use it good luck to them i'd much rather sp and it was an electric chainsaw which is perfect for what i use for what i need but <sighs> it went missing who knows who cares just annoying um, but I mean, I have a whole load of other little things I just can't find. Some of them might have gone missing. Some of them might have walked off with a little help. I just don't know. Um, and like, as I said, this is not, shall we say, the best area in the world. There are meth labs around and who knows where the... Who knows who crawls around in the in the dark? The dogs certainly bark in the dark, and whenever I go out, I never can see anything. So, anyways, the pro work is progressing. Um, somebody did say that there were grab bags of uh, Meccano um, in the charity shops. I've not seen one. Mind, I've not been to a charity shop in a few years. So I'll have to have a little look there and see if I can find bags of uh, bags of Meccano or bags of Lego Technic. Uh, that would make life a lot easier. Although I can well imagine that if I use Lego Technic for a coin melting device, my little word, somebody's got their muffler missing. Good God, they're curb crawling in a great big pickup. 
with no muffler. It is South Carolina. So, anyway, I'll uh, see what updates I can bring you next week.